Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 1. Today we're going to be talking about the first look at Superman's new suit for Season 1. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so very exciting news. We got our first official look at Superman's new suit for his new show, Superman Lois, which is coming out in no time so in February so a few months and we should be getting some first looks pretty soon this is the start of it this is your first look poster then you're gonna get your promos you're gonna get your synopsis your photos and everything like that that is all leading up from this normally they would do a poster reveal and then they would lead up to other stuff so this is exciting it's the start of all of this and so what do I think of this suit well, we're going to get into that in today's video, and we're going to be breaking it down, comparing it to his old suit that he wore in Supergirl originally, and then obviously in the crossovers since then when he has returned year after year. So there is a lot to break down, and there is some similarities, there are some big differences. I think this suit looks really cool, just to get to the point. So let's go ahead and break down this poster. So what you can see is, you know, he's here, he's standing on top of a building, you see the Daily Planet in the background, obviously that is very familiar for Superman fans and for the Superman world. He's always at the Daily Planet, that's where he works. And actually, fun fact, this new show in Season 1, he's not going to be in Metropolis for most of the season, they are actually moving back to Smallville so they created a whole set a whole compound in Vancouver where they've been filming and that in fact is supposed to be Smallville so they've made a new town and that's where they're gonna be for the most of the season so this is obviously just you know signifying Superman Daily Planet signifies that but I believe he's only gonna be in Metropolis for at least the first part and then you know maybe a bit towards the end maybe he comes back a couple of times to fight some crime and stuff like that but yeah, so that's in terms of the setting. I think this looks really cool, nice with the sky in the background, and then him and he's got the flares going over his legs. That's kind of like an old Supergirl poster that they released, you know, I think it was season one or two. And so yeah, this poster just looks really cool, very sleek, very exciting because it's obviously featuring his suit, that is the main thing. It's not just like a poster for the new season, it's a suit reveal basically. So yeah, if we look at his suit and we compare it to his past suit, what do we think? I think it looks great. I think it's a big, big improvement. They've changed the belt, they've changed lots of different things, including the cape. And we'll break all of these specifics down in just a moment. But yeah, for now, my thoughts, amazing, looks great. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And so now, in comparison, what is the difference? Obviously, his hair has changed a tiny bit. I mean, it's kind of similar, but it looks a little bit different. And maybe that's just due to the lighting in this photo. But then, if we actually go a bit closer that you'll see on the screen right now, you see, you know, Tyler's just Tyler, and then his cape is different. What's up with his cape? Before, he had these things that kind of extended onto his chest it was like a cape kind of connector now it seems like the cape is like you know intertwined with the suit it comes from around the neck area rather than from the chest area so i think this is a big improvement i think that was a lot of people's main issue with that past suit because it looked like you know the cape just like slotted on or something and it was a bit weird that it came all the way forward and so yeah I think his cape is a tiny bit more red, I think there is just a few changes in terms of colouring throughout this whole suit. I believe his actual suit is a bit different, his colour, I think the threading is a little bit different. But in terms of the actual threading of the suit, it looks like it's the same kind of stitching. And you know, the patterns on his arms, on his chest, they're actually still the same. But I believe maybe they've changed the pigment of the suit just a little bit. So that might be one of the smaller differences, but I think it just looks better and it looks better quality and looks more refined, his suit, you know, the blue area I'm talking about. And now, yes, the big improvement is definitely, like I said, the cape, but also the emblem, the crest on his chest, the Superman crest, House of L crest. It's actually a lot smaller now, and I think it's better because the other symbol was really big and kind of filled up all of the kind of chest area. 
And I always thought that maybe it was a little bit obtrusive, and I think this is a lot better. It's a lot sleeker, this new one. It's much smaller, it's like half the size. The material's been changed. The actual emblem material looks a lot more like the suit's material. I think maybe it's just like a stitching on top of that suit. And then the other one looked like it was completely different. It kind of looked a bit like leather. Looked a bit more like, you know, the same kind of material his cape was made out of. And talking in terms of his cape and what is different, it seems like it's just a different material. Before it was a bit plasticky, it looked a bit kind of tacky and cheap, maybe. I think that's the word. And then now it looks like a proper kind of cloth, you know, like a flowing cape. It kind of feels like, oh, this could be, you know, him actually flying around in the wind. You can imagine it. And his cape is longer, I believe. But that is from what we can see in the poster. Obviously, we need to kind of see it in action a bit more to compare it. But yeah, so his cape looks a lot better. Like I said, at the top, it's a lot better as well. So they fixed a few things like that. And in terms of his wrists, it looks like, you know, the kind of end bit of his wrist is changed a bit. I think they've just slightly altered the design a tiny bit. And then, you know, his trousers and everything same kind of style you know it's got the same kind of embossing or whatever you call it in fashion but yeah i mean it just kind of has this different feel to it, it looks better it looks more durable and so yeah i mean apart from that you have the belt that is one big change the big change there is the old belt was just like a flat belt that just went you know across his waist and then now what is is better and it looks much more dynamic you know it kind of dips down and then it has a superman emblem on i think the other one didn't have a superman emblem on and this one has a kind of faint one but it looks more metallic and it just looks a lot better i think the other one just it looked good right and it looked good in action but when you look back at it compared to this one this one looks like a lot better quality i would say that is the main difference here and so this poster is very impressive, shows a lot off, it gets me very excited and I'm sure it's going to get all of you guys excited. So I really want to know your thoughts. So comment it in the comments down below. What do you think of this suit? It looks so, so good. And I think really if you compare it to this old suit, you know, it's a big improvement. But if you compare it to Supergirl's new suit, like Supergirl last season, I mean, it has a kind of similar feel to that new suit that Supergirl got because her belt kind of changed. It kind of goes down. I feel like they've definitely used it as inspiration for this new Superman suit. And yes, Supergirl's cape is a bit different. It kind of has that clip on kind of aspect, but the kind of material of her cape is a bit different from what Superman was using originally. And it feels a lot better. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel anything like that. It feels more you know better in terms of quality and everything so yeah in terms of similarities i mean i think the biggest similarity is the stitching because it's done by a designer obviously who has worked on arrowverse shows before the new superman lowest suit was designed by the designer i think she's done suits on titans doom patrol black lightning and a few of our other shows that are very related so i mean they all are pretty similar and I think it definitely shares a comparison with Supergirl's new suit. So I feel like, you know, the emblem is kind of the same size as Supergirl's suit, you know, last season. And, you know, this kind of stitching and the material and the way it all comes together is definitely somewhere, you know, along the lines of the Supergirl suit that we got recently. So, yeah, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think the Supergirl and Superman comparison is really there? Do you think it's actually inspired by it? Because I do. I really think it is so yeah for now thank you guys so much for watching remember we have the live stream tomorrow so please be sure to tune in probably around you know 8 or 9 p.m or 10 p.m uk time tomorrow around then so translate that to whatever time zone you guys are in and you can check in with us tomorrow on that stream but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys later goodbye
Icy Road.